Good morning. Morning. It is travel day. It is. We are leaving behind the province of Cordoba today and we are continuing onwards to Mar del Plata. We are going there for food. There's a food festival <laughs> happening. I convinced Sam that we needed to go. It's hey, a boss. you didn't need to do a lot of convincing. Yeah, it didn't take too long. It didn't take too long. Because it's a travel day, we've had our showers, got dressed, comfy clothes. We just finished packing and tidying up the room because I like leaving a hotel room looking clean. <laughs> so we thought we'd give you a quick tour before we strap on our bags and march on over to the bus terminal. So, voila. This is our room at Blumenau. It was nice. It I was. Had a good time here. The location was fantastic. We were on a on a side street, not on on the main street like yeah. we were the last time we were here. It was very peaceful. Spacious. We had a little work desk area happening here. Yep. Computer time, laptop club. Laptop club. This is where it took place. Yeah. Yeah. And bathroom. I guess we'll show you the bathroom. That's really. That's really it. Oh, and we <laughs> like a little kitchenette. This is like mini kitchenette. So yeah. we have like a sink, some dishes stored up here. They left us crackers. They left us cookies, dishcloth, yeah. uh, mugs, cutlery. And this was the first time we've stayed in several places now that we had an electric kettle. Yes, yeah. Sam made use of the electric kettle. Which, which I highly prefer. I mean, when you when you do the, <laughs> the gas, do it by gas. It oh, that's a pain. Yeah. We had a microwave. Microwave. And a little fridge. Are we leaving anything behind? We got water bottles water. ready to load. Ooh, we need to bring our water. We're bring all three of them. And then the bathroom was very, really big in comparison yes. to other bathrooms we've had in Argentina. Sink yeah. area, soap and shampoo, uh, a big walk-in shower. And I think this place was like sixty something dollars a night, including tax and it's everything. Exactly. I forget. Yeah. So it was Bidet, reasonable. Toilet. So that's all there is to it. Yeah. Let's continue to the but bus terminal. The room tour is over. Let's go. We fed the, the German Shepherd the day before. You know what? I remember the German Shepherd from our last visit here, oh, wow. which was like three years ago. Yeah. Still around, looking a little bit older, but I remember him. And yeah, we're going to have some breakfast. We've got a little over an hour until our bus arrives. riding buses very often and you get motion sick very easily oh. i don't i didn't find that bad at all it is it is a it's windy because i mean you're coming down from a high That's altitude to a lower altitude yeah. but um anyways we're here the, the the ride like the road that we're going to mar del plata i believe is pretty much like flat and straight so i hope so because i can't imagine getting on another bus again <laughs> Thank 
work while they wait for food. Well, here we are waiting yeah. for our lunch, so we thought we'd talk about prices with you guys. Yes. So the first bus ride we ended up taking was 267 uh, pesos, yeah. which came to 7 US dollars per person. And the long bus ride that we're going to take, which we catch at 5 p.m. and arrive at 9 in the morning. So, I mean, that's a really long one like 16 hours or something so the 16 hour bus ride is 2745 pesos which came to roughly like 72 73 us dollars per person so yeah obviously the short bus ride was much cheaper this other one is about 10 times more anyways we've worked ourselves up an appetite we are going to be having empanadas and a caesar salad with agua con gas the pizzas look really good but we've been having a lot of pizza lately so we're like I probably shouldn't be eating pizza every other day. <laughs> <laughs> is it decent? It's a pretty good Caesar salad. Robust terminal? Yeah. yeah. We've been wanting to add a few more greens to our diet. I mean, it's just so fun to have pizza, empanadas, alfajores, facturas all the time. But we're, we're also realizing that uh, we want to still be able to fit into our clothes by the uh, time this trip's over. I want to try one of the empanadas. We each got two. Yeah, so one is ham and cheese. I think it's these round ones. Yeah. And then we got the Arab ones, which have meat. Probably meat and raisins, Probably I would guess. Raisins. That's what I'm guessing as well. Looks good. Is that good? Fresh out of the oven. Oh, nice. Look, you can see that. You see the ham. We're not going to be stuffing ourselves because we believe we're going to be getting fed a hot meal on, on, on the bus. look like crackers and these are called mantecata and they also look like crackers cheese crackers so crackers crackers and a, and a sandwich. sandwich and hopefully a beverage hopefully a beverage hopefully some wine we have had wine and whiskey on the bus ride before in Argentina yeah on a VIP bus I don't think this is it <laughs> uh, exactly Has arrived. Someone started eating without me. Yeah, it sure has. So we got three different things: coffee con leche, coffee with milk, media, media lunas, luna. which are oh, they're so scrumptious here. I've already ate my portion. Yeah, There's three. So you get one and a half. And the thing that we haven't tried yet is uh, something called a tostado. Yes, it's like a grilled cheese with ham and uh, with tomato and oregano on top. Looks, looks delicious. Good. Nice little breakfast after a long day of travel. Oh yeah. In he goes. Mm. It's pretty good. It's got a double layer of cheese. It's nice and juicy from the tomato, a little bit salty. It's a nice thing to counterbalance the sweetness of the media luna. All right, let's get to it. I'm starving. Let's do it. Alright guys, we are all checked in to our apartment, which comes with a rooftop terrace. Yeah, we'll show you that view. We are two blocks away from the beach, and, and uh, we did some groceries. Yeah, we haven't been having a lot of fruits and vegetables, and we thought, you know what, we're going to be having a lot of food tonight at the food festival. Yeah. So let's get in some fruit. Let's get, have something light with a glass of vino tinto. Oh my. Salud. This one is a special blend. It is Malbec and Bernardo. I've never had that combination before. How is it? Potent, if you ask me. That's like some strong wine right there. 
it's good stuff. But yeah, we paid about 10 bucks to get a whole bunch of fruit, which honestly I think is going to last us the next five days that we're here in the city. We got apples, plums, peaches, basically melons, got four strawberries, of, Basically got four, four of each, right? Yeah. Quality of the fruit in Argentina mm. is so good too. And it's so nice being here. Like we've got blue skies, not a single cloud. Perfect day for a food festival yeah. by the water. I, th I think before we head there, I'm gonna need a little siesta. Like I did sleep on the bus, but it's mm -hmm. one of the, one of those sleeps where you, you know you wake up every like hour or two, and mm -hmm. then the bus is going through some kind of windy, bumpy road, mm -hmm. and you're just like kind of jolted up, and you're like, oh. so it wasn't a restful sleep. I'm feeling a little tired, but that's why we're having a light meal, some wine, and then the next episode should be really exciting because this is the reason why we, we rushed to Mar del Plata is we wanted to be here for the food festival. The food festival, which already started like a day ago. Mm -hmm. How many days is it going for? Like four well, days? I think it's like three full days. Yeah. There was another like unofficial first day with I think like some workshops and announcements, opening stuff. But we're here for the food. So we've got two full days of Feria Masticar. Mar y Sierra, mm -hmm. and yeah, we're just gonna be eating. Sounds good to me. So keeping it light. Yeah. Anyways, I feel like we've rambled on enough about our fruit and our wine. <laughs> See you soon with more food and travel videos from Argentina. See you soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.